G'day. Lately there seems to be a lot of people getting chucks jammed on lathes and various other things and having to use a great deal of force to get them off. You should never have to really use a great deal of force to get a chuck off or a face plate. So hopefully this video will help you put things on properly so that you can remove them when you need to. Lathe manufacturers go to a great deal of pains to make sure that this surface here on the face of the spindle and this surface here on the face of the chuck or this surface here on the case of a face plate is straight and at 90 degrees to the spindle. Even on cheap lathes they make sure that that surface is flat. There's only a couple of places in my opinion where a washer is warranted and it is not a leather washer, plastic washer or anything else. It is a machined steel washer like this one. Now the two cases in point are if you have a long spindle like a long nose on your spindle like this one here is, then there's a chance that this can happen. It doesn't meet down in here against the register or the seat. Now, if the threads are a little bit wonky, and they should all be clean anyway, if they're a little bit wonky, that can run out at this end here. So you insert a washer between there and there to make sure that it does seat perpendicular to everything else. The other case where you may need a washer is where you have a thin face plate like this one here is and the nose sticks out through here. So again, you need a washer between here and here, a solid washer, a steel washer to hold it straight. Now, we'll just check to see what run out we've got down in here with a dial indicator just for the sheer hell of doing it. Okay, I've got a dial indicator set up. I'm not going to worry too much about zeroing it or anything like that. But as you can see, we've got about half a thou, less than half a thou movement there. So that face is pretty good. Now, we'll fit the, the chuck on. Now a lot of people, make sure your spindle lock's engaged first. And put it on. Now a lot of people stop about there and leave a gap down in between here and then spin it up like that. Well that's just as bad as having the chuck loose because it shocks it into, into place. It's like an impact gun tightening up a nut. Do it up firmly. To fit the chuck on the lathe, do it up firmly by hand first with your spindle lock engaged. And be careful of your spindle lock. Make sure it's strong enough to be able to do this. Some of the some models of lathes have a very little thin pin in the spindle lock and you can bend them. Then by holding the chuck key right in against the face of the chuck, not on the outside of the jaws here, but on the inside there, I put my thumb on it like that and just tighten it up tightly, firmly. Don't use the adjusting nuts here because there is a chance that you can snap them. They're not meant for tightening up chucks and in fact the Technotool uh, chuck key has a little ball on it. It's near impossible to do it that way anyway. But just down in the centre there and locked in tight. Okay, now we'll see how much run out we've got on this chuck with metal to metal contact and then we'll try a few washers right we've got the dial indicator set up on the chuck now this is metal to metal contact which is the way they're supposed to be turn the load over slowly and as you can see there's about three thou run out which 
on something this big for wood turning is quite acceptable. So what we'll do next is take this chuck off and put a washer behind it and we'll see what happens. Right, the washer that we fitted in there is just a washer that you'd buy off the shelf from Bunnings or Home Depot or whatever you want to use it depending which country you're in. So we'll see what run out we've got here. Five, six, six thou. So it's increased the run out by three thou. That's the washer that we used, just the normal one you'd buy off the shelf. The next washer, the ubiquitous milk carton. Right, this is the washer cut from a milk carton, which a lot of people recommend doing. Not bad, it's only given the same reading as what we had with metal to metal contact. Next we'll try the leather washer. Right, this is a leather washer from an old boot that I cut out. And we have a fraction more movement there, about five thou. Which is in my opinion is with intolerances for wood turning equipment. This is with the machine metal washer, which I wouldn't put in there anyway because the chuck seats up against the back of the registers properly anyhow, but as you can see it virtually has the same run out as what it was with it contacted into into things so I must say I'm quite surprised um, I thought there would have been a little bit more run out with uh, using the washers I must admit I'm still against washers because coming from an engineering type background everything is metal to metal contact and I think possibly that with a washer behind there it could tighten up a little bit more than what uh, you want anyway and I don't think that it makes any difference about uh, putting it on or off or making it easier to get off. If you put it on properly the, f the first time, it will come off every time anyway, in my opinion. I've never seen a fitter and turner or a machinist put anything other than a steel washer, if he needs one, behind a chuck onto the lathe anyway. But, oh well, if washers are your thing, maybe that's it. But I personally would never use one because uh, I think that they would compress and I think that they possibly leave a little bit of error where you could get a little bit of vibration in the chuck as well by having a non-metal contact. But that's just my theory behind it. I hope this video has been useful and uh, thank you.